Hey folks, this is Jake over at Heartland Marine. Uh, I've got a 2003 Chaparral 263 Sinesta. I'm just going to give it a quick once over, uh, take a look at the condition, let you know what we're going to fix and what we're not, uh, if there are any, any issues with it. It does need a bath, so that's just the first thing. Uh, I got one scratch here, and then that goes into the graphic. That's not real deep, so when we buff it, that'll lighten up. Um, it's not going to come out completely, but it's a used boat. Anything with fiberglass showing or deep into the fiberglass will fix. Uh, little scratches like that and stuff we don't mess with. One little chip in the graphic here. Another little chip that's in the fiberglass, or it's not, excuse me, not fiberglass, that's in the gel coat. So, no fiberglass showing on that, we'll just leave that alone. A couple more chips in the, the graphic. Let's take a look at the hole and see if there's any damage here. Got a few scratches up here at top. Not a big deal. We'll leave those alone. A couple scuffs here. Again, nothing really that needs to be repaired. I guess if somebody's picky, they can get those done. Hole looks nice. Let's check out the port side here. <clears throat> Got one scratch here. Not real bad, we'll leave that. Again, graphics a little chewed up. Let's take a look at the swim platform and the out drive. A little scratch there. Sometimes there are a few chips. Uh, I'm not seeing any on this one. Let's take a peek at the drive here in the props. Drive's filthy, but looks pretty good. Skeg's not broke off. Props look good. I mean, overall, it really just needs a bath, but looks pretty nice. Cover's filthy, so we'll power wash the covers. Give me just a second, we'll go inside. So here we are inside. Uh, vinyl looks all really nice. I'm not seeing any splits or any rips or tears. Seams are tight. Captain's chair, you've got the flip up bolsters. Chairs look pretty good. Head compartment, I've got a porta potty and the filler cushions for the back. So the backrest goes here comes up and that'll give you the backrest for that uh, fill-in seat. I didn't see any carpet in this thing. 
it has the snaps in the floor. I'm assuming the carpet got taken out and either just not replaced or thrown away. Dash is nice, not faded. One indication that I always look forward to see if the boat sat out in the sun are these switches here. If the lettering is all rubbed off or worn off, a lot of times that's from sitting in the sun. Uh, none of that here. Wood grain on the steering wheel, still nice and vibrant. Same thing with the wood grain on the dash. I had a little water in the cover when I uncovered it, so the seats are just a tad wet right now. Take a peek at the engine. Three fifty mag. Uh, I forget the hours. I'll reference them in the description. I want to say it was less than three hundred, but I'll double check that. Dual batteries. This one's even got a charger. Right there behind the battery, so that's a nice option to have. Overall, just other than being a little dirty, it's going to be a darn, darn nice boat. Again, this is Jake over at Heartland Marine. If you have any questions on this or anything else, 816-394-8850. Thanks.